so dears uh, we had discussed about market segmentation so we just discussed what is market segmentation what is the what are the benefits and the importance etc so today we'll just continue with the remaining portions for market segmentation so when it comes to requirements of market segmentation so if you have to segment the market what are, what are the features or what and all is required so one thing is indefinable another thing is accessible subheadings unique need substantial and durable so let me just tell you the meaning of all these when it comes to indefinable it is nothing but when you are segmenting the market that attribute which you use to segment the market should be measurable for example we divided the market on the basis of age infants teenagers old aged people their age is a measurable item yes when you divide market on the basis of gender into male and female it is measurable in terms of male in terms of female so if you have to divide the market the attribute should be measurable second thing is accessible you can subdivide market into many different groups but you have to make sure or you should be very sure it is reachable communication product distribution channel is reaching the different segments only reachable accessible segments will give you profit so when you subdivide the market or segment the market it should be accessible then unique needs to like if all our customers are requiring the same thing there is no need to segment the market at all if only different people require different unique things you have to divide the market so an example can be for example if you have a company you are owner of the company that is manufacturing towels okay towels produce in a company and towel nu parayunnathu infants use cheyum teenagers use cheyum old aged people use cheyum if you have a towel manufacturing company you need not segment your market because all require the same product but that is not in the case when they are having unique needs when it takes to comes to clothing infants infants in where a level of clothing venam teenagers in where a fashion trend illa cloth venam old age people in where model clothes venam here you can subdivide your clothing company markets into three so unique needs undengil mathrame subdivide cheyanda avashyullu so if you have to subdivide customer should have unique needs then substantial the segment should be sufficiently large whenever you divide the market when you segment the market market which get divided each and every piece of that should be substantially big only then resources can be used properly durable that is when you divide market it should not be based on our attribute that keep on changing when you divide on the basis of age infants okay 1 to 4 years ad orikkale maarunnilla 1 to 4 years ulla kuttigalu valarnu veldayi teenage lotu poyalum aa 1 to 4 year inde ulla kuttigalu pinneyum pinneyum vannu fill aayikonde irikkum nammada market segment il avade market segment is not changing so such type of division only should be made മാർക്കറ്റ് നമ്മൾ ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് എപ്പോഴും ചേഞ്ച് ആയിക്കൊണ്ടിരുന്ന ഇറ്റ് ഫ്രീക്വൻലി ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് യുവർ കോസ്റ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ചേഞ്ച് ആവാത്ത രീതിയിൽ ഉള്ള ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് വേണം നമ്മൾ മാർക്കറ്റിനെ ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദി റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റ്സ് നൗ കമ്മിങ് ഇൻ ടു ദ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഹൗ ക്യാൻ യു ഡിവൈഡ് ദി മാർക്കറ്റ് ഓർ ഓൺ വാട്ട് ബേസിസ് വിൽ യു ഡിവൈഡ് ദ മാർക്കറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ജോഗ്രഫിക് ഡെമോഗ്രാഫിക് psychographic or behavioralistic patterns using these factors any basis can be used for the subdivision when it comes to geographic you can segment or divide the market on the basis of region you can divide india as into different markets like north india south india into different states then according to the area you can divide the market on the basis of population you can divide your market then on the basis of climate you are a clothing company you can have two subdivision bases on on basis of climate you can consider one segment as the area where the uh, temperature is very less where you have a winter most of the time so it is cool most of the time that is one segment hot areas in another segment so climate in the basis lo namaku divide cheyan pattu then 
demographic means you are dividing your subdividing your market on the basis of age gender lifestyle income etc on the basis of age nammal nokki example aanu teenagers infant old age angane namaku market divide cheyam gender male female divide cheyam income earned upper class middle class lower middle very poor aa reethiyil namaku market divide cheyam so on the basis of lifestyle people who prefer luxury in one segment people who are middle class in one segment angane namaku endu cheyam market ne sub divide cheyam so this is said to be demographic segmentation on the basis of age gender income etc you divide the market then you have psychographic on the basis of activities interest opinion value you can sub divide like then we have behavioralistic segmentation on the basis of hobbies right certain people are interested in football so you create you are a sports kit manufacturing company you how will you sub divide the market for people who love to play football they are one of your market segment people loving to play cricket will be in another segment so on the basis of opinion interest activities you can sub divide then degree of loyalty certain customer will buy only same brand most of the time they are said to be loyal customer so they can be a separate segment new customers can be in a separate segment on the basis of loyalty then on the basis of occasions it can be for example you are a cloth manufacturing company you can consider festive seasons as an occasion to divide the market or you subdivide the market on the basis of like you consider one segment is for wedding another segment of market is for engagement based clothing another is for festive so on the basis of occasion you can subdivide the market then benefits so certain during certain market segmentation you can use benefits few customers will love to have discounts so 10% discount one market segment you attract certain customer 20% discount for another set of customers you segment their market so on the basis of benefits you can divide the market then it can be on the basis of usage few people who are light users in one segment heavy users in another segment who constantly purchase are said to be the heavy users who purchase at times are like medium so you can divide the market on the basis of usage under behavioralistic segmentation so that is it we discussed what today we discussed how can the market be segmented what are the basis it can be on the basis of geographic condition demography psychographic condition or behavioralistic condition then what are the requirements if you have to subdivide the market what are the basics that you should have or what do you require that is what we discussed today okay so thank you we'll meet in the next session take care